Good evening! As you may very well know, there are games that I consider to be guilty pleasures. Now, I'm not gonna mention all of my guilty pleasures, but I am going to mention this one. This is Syrian Warfare, a game about the Syrian Civil War, which is, I might remind you, ongoing. And it is made by a Russian company. And, uh, well, let's just have a look. Salam, Wazir. Anwar, I'm happy to hear from you. Are you already on your way to work? Yes, Captain. First day back on the job. Well, hurry. A lot has happened in the month you were gone. When you get here, we'll take a service vehicle and check out the outskirts of the city. Civilians have been calling in tips about strange people there. Okay, Wazir. I got I'm coming. Okay, so this is us. We need to get down and into the car. Apparently our home looks like a small fortress. So let's just uh, get into the uh, car here. And drive to work. The next station at the edge of town. Now, with the Syrian civil war being a bit of a controversy and a controversial subject and everything, you will notice that the Russian developers took immense care to... Hi, Chief. You made it. Well, get in and let's go to the outskirts of the city. Wahid, the head of the police department the next town over called. He asked to come and discuss something in person. Of course, this is going to be a very, very... Well, I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to be sarcastic about it. Hey, Chief, hop in and let's go. Okay, so the chief also needs to jump in. Uh, I don't know why he was over there suddenly, but apparently we have like. A How was your vacation? We went to visit my wife's relatives in Lebanon. Sea and sun, it was good. I wanted to get back home though. They show so much on TV. It's worse than it looks on TV. Some armed men and clerics from the other places have been exciting people. The nearby police station blew up. The military put up roadblocks. Yeah, I saw. What does Wahid want? I don't know. Someone shot up an army convoy near his town. Maybe he wants to talk about that. We'll find out soon enough. Stop here and wait for me. I'll have my radio on just in case, so you'll hear everything that goes down. Chief, if it's that serious, shouldn't I go with you? No, wait here. All right, so we get out of the car and uh, listen to the radio. What would it matter? And what? And what? Where are you? Elias, is that you? What, did you miss me? I took the chief to meet someone on the outskirts of town. I'm still there, waiting. Put it back on the job, eh? Come back soon, we're about to have tea. Oh, are you on duty today? Great, I think the chief will be finished soon, and we'll head back. Keep the kettle hot. I mean, if we're gonna listen in on the radio, we could have as well just stayed at the police station, right? It's good to see you, Wahid. Who are these people? Why are they armed? Hello, Wazir. It's good to see you, too. They're my new friends, and if you're smart, they'll be yours, too. What are you talking about? The times are changing. These men are a new force I'm working with. In times like these, it's better to be a free agent, Wazir. They've got funds, weapons, and basically endless support from abroad. You watch TV, you know what's going on. The government is falling. I'm offering you the chance to join the winning side before it's too late. They won't touch you or your men. They might cut up a few of the Christians in your town, but that's just for show. It won't be significant, and they'll make you the leader. Hmm? What do you say? You were easily bought. You still can't forgive the higher-ups for not making you a colonel and sending you to Damascus, can you? And now here's your chance to get revenge, eh, Wahid? You won't be working in my town, not while I and my men are around. Don't be so naive, Wazir. You said yourself, while I'm around. What do you think these men are here for? Damascus only has a few weeks left. We've been given enough money and arms to make us unstoppable. Yesterday we took out an army convoy near my town, and now our main forces are on the way. What will you be able to do against tanks? I'm sick of all this talk! Either he gives the command for his men to lay down their arms, or I'm... Anwar, did you get all that? 
Get back to the station and sound the distress call. Get ready for an attack. Ilias, Ilias, they killed the boss. Those jackals killed Wazir. And what? What do you mean? Who killed him? I didn't see them, I only heard the conversation. Wazir said something about men with weapons. They told him we had to let them into our city. Sound the alarm, take up defense. Got it, I'm already raising our defenses. We got a platoon out for training that set out this morning, but I can't reach them now. Try to go find them and bring them back into the city. We'll have to hold out until then. Yes, I'm on my way to them, hold on. Hello, Karim. Yes, you know what time it is. Why are you calling so early? Get up, we need you at work, ASAP. It's my day off, what happened? The chief is dead. Some dogs attacked the city, and water went out for reinforcements, and we're defending the station. Do you have your rifle with you? Of course I do. Okay, my brother, I will be there soon. Alright, so we're getting some reinforcements against these guys who apparently are the Al Nusra. So, it's not to be complain about shooting these guys. We got police snipers incoming. Two uh, policemen and his brother, apparently. Who's that? Mahmoud! Mahmoud, brother, it's me, Ilias. We've been attacked. What? I heard shots. Who attacked us? I don't know, but there are a lot of them, and they've come with combat vehicles. Wazir said you have an RPG buried in your yard from the war with Israel? Of course. What kind of Arab would I be if I didn't have an RPG buried in my yard? I'll get my sons, and I'll be there soon. Okay, so here comes the guy who apparently is the only Arab of the bunch, because he has an RPG burn in the yard. God fucking damn it. I mean... I can't really comment on, the, on that comment. I mean, any... Half of the Western games developers would have been beheaded for such a thing. The enemy took one of the buildings on the way. We can take it back. Get to it! But okay, we got the RPG. Okay, got here. Here. Ready we in our detachment uh, are returning engage. from the checkpoint. We've got a flat tire on the pickup, but the soldiers brought us to Noral. And water! It's a massacre over here! Hurry! Yeah, a massacre of the enemy because we are going to be able to get off fairly well. Oh, wait. Uh, the, apparently, this is the building that the enemy took over. So we still have a significant force of men at the station. We have uh, a police squad with RPGs, and we have uh, a standard We're here. squad. Great! It's gonna be a little tight with ammunition, so that Ural is gonna come in handy. Yeah, this is a, a thing I might want to mention about this game, and that is that ammunition, every sort of ammunition and spare, uh, spare parts and stuff like that, uh, can be depleted and that is actually a part I like because that means that even if you have like a basic squad you need to stream them. So more reinforcements are now uh, joining. So we are going to send out the uh, vehicle crew. Uh, the vehicle crew can return. As for this police squad we are going to send them to the building that was taken over earlier if we can spare the men to do so. We can have the squad recon a bit. Looks like the enemy have uh, more guys than come so. so we might just return with these guys to defend the police station. I'm gonna send them to defend the adjacent building. Gameplay-wise, this game is actually not half bad. I mean, with the ammunition mechanic, where you need to carefully be careful. Brothers, stay inside! Look how many of these jackals are here! They are well prepared! The station is well defended! It shouldn't fall! Alright, so we took one casualty, and the enemy is now coming in all directions with um, tentacles. Our RPG is going to be hard pressed to take all these enemies were so And I'm a mechanic that's very interesting that I think we're going to 
see is that how fighting tends to take place inside They're the building. They're on the defensive! Get to the windows! Down to the last! Even if we surrender, those dogs will just spare our lives! So as you can see here, the enemy assault upon the building failed. Since they made a much dark man inside the uh, attack. Succeed. Strange armed men have taken the mosque. They've desecrated the House of Allah. People, gather up. They invaded the city from the other side. If they manage to regroup there, they'll cut through the city like a knife. We have to take back the mosque to keep that from happening. They're desecrating our mosque. We must expel the blasphemers in Allah's name. Yeah, as you can tell, they're very much playing to stereotypes here. In, an, in a way that makes it almost satire. And I haven't even begun to talk about the way they are treating current history, uh, which is uh, a mix of terrifying and hilarious. So we, we have an RPG squad, and um, we'll take one RPG squad and one standard police squad. And uh, these forces will use the snipers to uh, hold the police station as we move support towards the mosque. Uh -huh. We will be oh. using the houses for cover, because obviously this is the best way to do it. We'll need to make sure that the, the enemy shooter in the minaret doesn't get us. And uh, to be honest, we don't have. Yes, you stay. Thank you. Uh, Leader One Squad has now been given the order to reach the mosque. Once they're inside, we can uh, have the RPG troops move in and. Uh, We've taken the mosque. But that technical needs to be destroyed. After the squad, I want to take out the technical. Go for it. And thankfully, the RPG have placed themselves right where I Oh god, no. Listen to the shout from outside. I think the people are storming the mosque themselves. They'll just get butchered. We have to help them. Yeah, we got the vehicle by shooting an RPG from the mosque. Uh, looks like uh, civilians are trying to storm the mosque. Hello, who is it? Anwar, this is Majid Hoja. We're storming the mosque. We can't let those hounds desecrate our sacred place. Help us. We are currently suppressing the enemy in the secondary building. I'm going to move my standard police squad to the second building across the street. And I'm going to let the forces in the mosque provide the public fire. Both buildings has been has been taken. Come in, Wazir. This is Al Din. What's going on? Colonel, this is Lieutenant Anwar Amin. Captain Wazir is dead. We're under attack. What? Did those devils get to you too? Ah, Wazir was a good man. Report the situation over there, Lieutenant. The enemy has been attacking us since morning. They seem to be terrorist groups. They're well armed and they're attacking from multiple sides. We're holding the entrances to the city, but I'm not sure how much longer we'll be able to do it. Understood, Lieutenant. Hold on, and I'll ask the army to send you some backup. In the meantime, I'll send you whatever I can find here. Alright, I will, be, I will be sending a sniper squad up to the mosque, so the mosque will be reinforced. We also have allied forces in the form of uh, armed men from the village holding the mosque at this time. So, uh, yeah, currently things seem rather calm, we need to fortify the territory, it says, 
Uh, here we have available reinforcements. So we are going to get as many reinforcements as we can. Of course, I don't think that we. I'm not sure we can actually send them in so far. I'm not really sure how how the system works. So we have 900. So by we really should be able to just send them all of them in, but apparently we can't do that just yet. So the mosque territory and the police station territory are the parts. And so far we They're on the move. I hope we're ready. Yeah, so do I. Currently we have three squads in the police station and three squads holding the yeah. Most with our only RPG team most. So, as a real-time strategy game for like 20 bucks, this is not really bad, but what makes it hilarious is the propaganda. And you haven't seen shit yet. There is a mission, uh, I have it on my channel, where I cheat like a motherfucker, uh, that is during the Battle of Damascus. Where basically everything from the White Helmets, who are portrayed as literal terrorists who wants to blow up a bus of civilians, to foreign journalists whom you have to rescue, and basically the entire interaction with the uh, journalists is just absolute fucking gold. Because the journalist is like, Oh, we knew you were heroes, but we couldn't write it. Then the Anwar then, like, make sure that you take their tapes at the airport. Like, freedom of the press? No. And the achievement to save them is called freedom of the press! I'm not making this up. Literally, the Anwar and... To be honest, Anwar, Anwar's comments to everything is worth playing this game, because Anwar is a master of sarcasm. And my favorite is also in the Damascus mission, where he basically, basically says that, hey, um, I should turn off my phone, because everyone's calling me only favors. I mean, Anwar is really one of, one of the things that make this game absolutely a blast. Speaking of a blast, the enemy launch went up technical, and here we have uh, the enemy with an automatic grenade launcher on it. And believe me when I say they, this is by far not the worst thing you can experience. Some idiot is speeding toward us in a car. It's a suicide bomber. The car's packed full of explosives. Shoot him now before he blows us all to smithereens. Yeah, there are suicide bombers in this game, and they are fucking terrifying after that. Oh, wait, I had to move these guys into the vanguard. That's how I... That's how I get them. Alright, so... This is Sergeant Sherrod, Mohammed Dean. We have arrived. Great. Take up your positions and prepare to fight. Oh, the, the enemy is regrouping to attack again. Oh, God. This is not going to end well. They blew up a pretty, a pretty big chunk of that station. Uh, I will be sending uh, two squads to the general area of the mosque, so we can keep hold of that. But every, all other forces will be focused around. And as you might have noticed, uh, vehicles and stuff like that, they have not only drivers, but they have... Uh, they need uh, ammunition, they need uh, fuel, and supplying all this can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. So you might actually use stationary vehicles. Alright, so this is basically a race to the police station, but my reinforcements won that race, and whatever, whatever force I'll be building up will not have sufficient. Hey, you're shooting that RPG at your own guys. And you throw that grenade in a building with your own guys. What the fuck are you doing? Alright, so the reinforcements have reached both places. But 
we are currently in combat uh, and our but uh, we have uh, our This is Sergeant Abdullah Amani. Come in. Can anyone hear me? This is Lieutenant Anwar Amin. Sergeant, are you reinforcements we were promised? I didn't expect you so soon. Affirmative. We were given an order to be ready to move out, but the checkpoint was attacked by suicide bombers and an IFP. We weren't prepared for that kind of onslaught. The checkpoint is done for. Everyone died. We only managed to get the sappers out. We need support. We, we don't have enough fuel to get to you. Copy that. We'll figure something out. Look, and water. Old man Hassan's fuel truck. We can use it to fuel up at the IFV. Okay, so as I said, uh, as I said we'll now have to get the fuel truck to... Uh, but we also need someone to actually drive the thing. Currently, the BMT-1 seems to be... Alright, let's get going. The BMT-1 can fire right now. So it can at least defend its own fuel operation. However, the enemy infantry might still be able to Especially as the enemy forces are still firing at it. Alright, so we're getting the fuel there. What the fuck? We already Oh, that's, that's mind the road from your checkpoint. Those jackals may try to send the IFB, they attacked you in that way. He shot the refueling truck. He shot the refueling truck, and now there's only like one guy left. All right, well I just simply have to order the evacuation of the sap. The tank crew can stay. They can stay and fight, and we'll get the engineers to sim to uh, evacuate. And the BMP just simply has to hold that road. God damn it! That was unintentionally hilarious for all the right reasons. We'll just we'll just leave the tank crew there. Currently the Al Nusra vehicle team also seems to be very dead at the moment, so I'm not really worried about those. We have AT mines, we have explosives, we have AP mines, so we are gonna set down some anti-tank. Right there. You, my friend, who is a survivor of a fucking tank truck exploding, will, uh... We're gonna plant as many mines as we can. Yeah, we still don't have as many fuel as yet. We have a, we don't actually have any second fuel items for that matter. So we'll just simply have to live with the fact that we we'll blew up our own fuel. So we're gonna set out down the anti-tank points here, and hopefully they will be. I also think that we should be uh, placing down, let's see here, anti-personnel lines right there. Because right now we have a couple of anti-tank lines, they seem to be doing good job as well. Al Nusra is still advancing. But they get the boot, the boot to the head. So let's set up some ant, anti-personnel mines right there. Let's put some more uh, 
anti tank mine right there. Make sure that we really saturate the area. Incoming! The BMP will just. Lieutenant? Are you in charge here now? Your captain was a fool, but maybe you're a little smarter. Our main force will be here in no time, and you will be helpless to resist. The army checkpoints are gone. Don't let the sacrifices your people have made be in vain. Give the order to lay down arms. Never! Then you'll meet the same fate as Wazir. It seems like he trained his people to be as dumb as he was. A new power is coming to Syria, and I'm going to be given a high post for joining the right side early. How can you choose to die in this hole over money and power? I won't forget you, Lieutenant. You killed my captain, you scum! I'll find you and I'll put you down like the dog you are! And no money, and no power will help you then. When the new government comes in, we'll slit your and your family's throats. You understand the whole world is on our side? We've unlimited access to weapons and money. How much longer do you think you can hold out? You can't possibly combat the forces behind them. The captain taught me to live an upright life. If I have to, I will die, but I will do it with honor and dignity. I have nothing more to say to you, you dirty dog. That's not fair to dogs. Also, the propaganda is very, very subtle, as you might have noticed. So, I just found out how to lay a Lieutenant, band of people mines. are calling about terrorist vehicles on the outskirts of town. Tell so everyone to take shelter. I'm gonna make sure that uh, the last of our anti-personnel mines are being used. Whatever comes up this road is probably gonna blow up rather I hope go. We have a couple of anti-personnel mines left, three of them are back, so I'm gonna place them in this open. Oh, something just blew up. Oh, uh, enemy Enemy vehicles. They're firing on the BMP. We're gonna lose that BMP. It's basically guaranteed. Yeah, the BMP has been destroyed. Alright, I want you guys to retreat. Fall back and let the mines do the job. Hopefully, the, the vehicles are not cheating and can. See the mines. We'll see. Oh, you're gonna get it now. One less infantry fighting vehicle to worry about because they just ate a mine. So the army staffers. Uh, yeah, and now we have the sniping and the local populace. In this past. is Colonel Aldin, Lieutenant. Are you alive? Yes, Colonel. Just barely. Nobody's doing well. It seems they've begun a serious attack on the region. Some of our people have fled. Some have sided with the terrorists. Some under duress. Others of money. I know. Well, he'd already made us an offer. Why, he? I suddenly understand what happened to that convoy near their village. We cannot give you any more support. You'll have to make do as you see fit. What now, Lieutenant? We really pissed them off resisting. When they're through with us, there won't be anything left in town. I'll call the Imam and tell him to gather the people. Tell them to take their cars and leave the city. We'll cover them. Hello? Majid Hodja, sir. I have bad news. We're running out of time. We can't hold the city much longer. What are you saying? You and your people should leave immediately. Those fanatics will spare no one. Call the elders and have them warn the others. Take the things you cannot do without and flee the city. We'll try to hold them off as long as we can. Very well, Anwar. It's all in Allah's hands now. Be strong. I'm organizing the evacuation. Those with vehicles will leave on their own. I'm trying to find a bus for the others. Attention, the enemy makes heavy use of suicide bombers. If a vehicle approaches you at high speed, shoot everything you have at it. Don't let them get close enough to damage our fortifications. Protect the bus, we can't lose it. It's the only way out for our families. One thing I have to give this game credit for is that from what I've read, 
the tactics used in the game by both sides is fairly consistent with which uh, with what is actually used in the conflict. Meaning, yeah, technical, suicide bombers, mines, and whoa, that was some fucking explosion. Speaking of some fucking explosion, we don't have any mines covering this act entryway, so we can only hope our RPG gunners will be accurate here. No, uh, they base that guy basically blew, they blew up himself for nothing. He damaged the truck. That was it. We didn't have any money either of these buildings either way. So we got another suicide bomber coming right at us. And an infantry attack following up the the suicide bomber right here. More albums and this time we're supported by snipers. Take the children and everything you can carry and make a run for the bus. It's in front of Aunt Medina's house. Quiet woman, do as I say. I'll find you later. Just leave. Quiet woman. Nah. Yeah, like I said, this game is laying it on a bit thick, but it's part of the charm of it. I mean, it's it doesn't really try to hide from what it is, and you have to respect it. Can laugh all you want about it because that's also part of the enjoying this game. But uh, you, you can't really play this without enjoying the sheer cheesiness of the propaganda and the obviously terrible dialogue. I mean, they didn't even bother giving the wife a name, it basically just said Adwar's wife. Hey, does that mean. No, wait, that's total biscuits. I don't know if you remember that controversy, but basically Jenna Bain, who uh, is actually quite a major player in esports, not as a player, but as a manager and as a recruiter and everything like that, she got introduced on a StarCraft stream as Total Biscuit's wife, and everyone was livid about that, because if there's something you can say about Jenna Bain is that she has at least earned the honorific of being uh, being called with her accomplishments. So basically the enemy drove a vehicle. Oh that was a bad call by the enemy. The enemy basically drove a car with troops here and tried to unload them. Didn't work. So basically, the Al Nusra snipers right there. How are we doing with ammunition for these guys anyway? Yeah, it looks like the ammunition is still doing Most likely thanks to the, this transport. Uh, however, we have lost the RPG ammunition. 
in the moss, but I'm not really seeing if I'm gonna have the uh, the crew can back in. I'm trying to move this v this truck so we can reload the ammunition for the forces currently at the mosque, but we don't seem to be doing that. Also note that they can use different kind of grenades for the uh And what? Everyone who's gonna leave has left. There's no point in holding the city anymore. Gather everyone. Tell them our team is retreating for now. And I swear on my father's memory, I'll be back. So, the mission duration was half an hour. We've earned 227 CP. We killed 100 and, uh, 157 infantry. We've destroyed 13 enemy vehicles. We lost 3 soldiers and we lost 3 vehicles. So now it's going to load into the next mission and I'm basically going to tell you a bit about the Maganda. Uh, I'm basically just okay. So here we have allegedly Turkey actively assists the rebel fighters operating here. Tell it true. As it strives to restore the former glory of the Ottoman Empire. I mean, it is true that uh, Turkey did assist ISIS in Syria, mostly because ISIS was fighting the Kurds. But the way they are doing all this is just absolutely, absolutely weird. You also have like a new spin down here. So basically, it is a very interesting game in terms of... I'm gonna make sure to save first. Save. So, Syrian warfare is actually worth your time, believe it or not. But it's not worth much of your time. It's, it's worth it just to try it and... Basically, see it for yourself. And uh, but get it at a sale or something like that. Don't get it at full price. But to me, Syrian warfare is a wonderful guilty pleasure and one that I might actually return to in the future. Especially as their the dialogue in some of the missions is just absolutely amazing. You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. See ya.